goulash. We picked goulash because it's kind of a joke food. Like, when I think goulash, I think of it as a punchline. Um, also, it's well, one of the only foods that, when you say it, it sounds like you're throwing up already. Uh, so we're doing beef goulash today. Um, not expired. Awesome. 2015. Not awesome. It is from the Podravka company, and it has a very disinterested cow on the front. Probably doesn't care. Um, reading through the ingredients, seems pretty standard. Water, cooked beef, reconstituted tomato, um, beef tallow, which is used in asphalt. Kind of weird. Um, also, if you're a vegan and you want to be all high and mighty about it, you're not allowed to drive anymore, so suck it. Um, serving cup, the uh, serving size is one cup. Servings per container is 1.3. <laughs> Kind of weird. Like, I mean, I'm really gonna keep, you know, point three of this container and eat it later. But at any rate, we've got the uh, we've got the goulash. I still don't have fingernails. I don't know why I even try to do that. Fortunately, we don't have to mutz about with. The, oh, Mal's showing off now. Congratulations, Mal. You've got fingernails. I'll call you next time I have to pick up a dime. Mmm. <laughs> looks tomato soupy. Except for... No, it looks tomato soupy. I mean, I can pretend that canned soup doesn't have that same weird gunk at the top, but... I don't want to get this on the table the only way... Oh! That is the opposite of what is good. That's... That was disastrous. Oh, well. Um, ignoring the mess, there are bits of beef in there floating about. We're going to warm this up and clean this up. And we're going to be right back. Um, the, the goulash is heated, the mess has been cleaned up, some of our more astute viewers might have noticed that my beer glass has gotten more full, which just means I emptied it and filled it again. I'm kind of a drunk. Um, while it was heating up, I noticed something about the nutritional facts that I had not noticed before. Uh, the sodium content in this is 54% of your daily recommended value. <laughs> Likewise, the total fat is 23%. Um, cholesterol is 25%. This is a quarter of a meal. Like, a quarter of your whole day's caloric intake here. So I can understand why they would want to lessen that by making the full serving size one cup while including 1.3. Just so we're clear, this is not a healthy meal. Um, we warmed it up. The smell certainly was uh, more is more pronounced now that it's hot. Um, it's a very tomato soupy kind of thing. As I understand, the base of goulash is paprika. That's the main spice that they use. That's probably where a good deal is coming, is coming from. I expected kind of a more, uh, roasted beef type thing with, like, stringy bits of shredded beef. But instead, we have very large chunks of beef. This is actually looking way more appetizing than I thought it would. Um, I'm... Still not 100% behind it, though, because, honestly, I've seen dog food commercials that look exactly like this. And that's fine for dogs, but for me, not so much. So we're going to try some. What do you think, Miles? Should I try just the broth first, and then the broth and the beef? Or should I just give it all? I, I all feel like go? you should uh, just do it all in one Just go, go for it? Yep. We're just going to go for it. We're going to mm -hmm. get a big old beefy piece right here. I wish. Okay. Alright. Goulash. I see what you're getting at. It's not bad. With the big pieces of beef, I expected it to be a little tougher. They are quite tender. And the broth is just a little tomatoey, a little paprika. It's not spicy or anything like that. The serving suggestion recommends that it be served like over rice with potatoes cooked in it. And I can see that as being pretty cool. We picked this because I'd never tried it. Like, there are people who have had this. There are people who eat it every goddamn day. Russians. 
And, you know, to them, it's just a normal ass food. Again, this is not a healthy meal. Don't pick this up because you're trying to lose some weight, you know, with, uh... God damn, 25% of your daily amount of cholesterol. At any rate, it's not bad. Um, the broth by itself... Almost like, um... The very bottom of your tomato soup where you gotta like dunk the bread in um, but all taken all together this is this is pretty good food this is one of those instances where I'm pleasantly surprised by something that we've eaten so if you get the chance goo that lush <laughs>